We recently covered a video on how you can get yourself the special Pokeballs in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Apricorn Balls, the Dream Ball, and the Beast Ball. These are extremely rare items, and when you come to use them on wild Pokemon, whether it be a shiny or a specifically special Pokemon, you want to make sure that you are putting yourself in the best position to get this Pokemon. And I always feel like it would be great to have an idea of what the chances are of you getting this Pokemon in this specific catch. Well, today we're going to cover a brilliant tool that has been released to the community, so you can see the specific catch rates for when you're using these special pokeballs so you don't waste them after taking so long in acquiring them in the first place but before we get into today's video please subscribe to the channel remember you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to so yesterday Anubis dropped this tweet saying I went through the Scarlet and Violet capture formula with at Denvoros. He made this calculator that you can use and it's at Rotom Labs. You can read further for the details on what's changed since Sword and Shield. This doesn't apply to Terror Raids which have a 100% catch rate if you didn't know that already. So you don't have any worries about going into a Terror Raid and getting the Pokemon for that. So this is the calculator itself. You can see there is a bit of an explanation here and how it works and a bit more information down the bottom here but a brilliant tool for us to be able to just take into our games and use alongside them to get an idea of what catch rates you've got on pokemon around the region you can see here you've got the full list of pokemon here so we're going after something like a dino which is a pseudo legendary and you want to catch it in a dusk ball uh, and it is nighttime or in a cave so there is that option there which is brilliant and then you want to use the current hp if we've got a false swipe user you can put it down to one hp and we'll say the level is around 38 here status can Condition, no status condition so if you've got something that can paralyze it put it to sleep that increases the odds even more you've got your badge count there uh, catching power if you've got any of those powers from a sandwich activated you can add those on which will give you increased chances of course uh, encounter started with a backstrike if you do start the encounter with a backstrike that'll also change the odds as well and number caught in pokedex so you can put one down there so uh, is this a static encounter as well because it might be a static encounter that you come across if it's not just leave that unchecked and you can see here if we have all of this criteria for a Dino and we've got that in game we're going to have a 61% chance of getting the Dino with a Dusk Ball and it's also going to give you rough estimate on how many throws you're going to have to need how many Pokeballs you're going to have to use to get this Dino in the specific ball that you want but if you want to get it in something a bit more exotic and you want to use one of those special Apricorn Balls or something let's say like a Beast Ball let's say the worst catch rates in the entire game if we change this to a beast ball you'll be able to get a good idea of seeing what the odds are going to be you're going to have a four percent chance to get this in a beast ball taking roughly about 61 attempts to get it in the beast ball and that'll just give you a roughly 95 percent chance to get it after 61 throws so you're going to want to save in front of it obviously because you're only going to get one beast ball or if you're lucky you'll have a couple of them but you don't want to waste them of course so this tool is brilliant for just showing you the overall odds of how you can get it obviously if you have catch power level three or anything like that it doesn't really change the odds too much so you can see well he's using a herbal mystic are really that useful maybe using encounter power level two would help but it doesn't change the odds really that much maybe one percent if you go with a back strike you can see the odds are increased significantly more than catching power but if you combine that with catching power you'll get better odds as well and then you can also have a sleep condition like that on and it will significantly increase your odds so it just gives you an idea of the the, the different things that you you can do in game to increase your chances um, significantly gone from 61 throws roughly to 15 throws on average to getting this Dino in a beast ball and that's just one example you can do it with every single Pokemon that's accessible in the games and like I say what an amazing calculator to use and we'll use it an example now on a shiny Tinker Tuff that I've just recently caught in the game so now we've got a shiny Tinker Tuff if we want to catch it in a special Pokeball obviously we have saved that game so if anything goes wrong then we are going to be able to kind of go back and reset and try again Not not to waste any of these special kind of apricorn balls that we're wanting to catch this shiny tinker tuff in but if you come over to rotom labs now which will be linked down in the description below you're going to be able to come down and then you're going to be able to put your pokemon in here so we have got a tinker tuff uh the select the ball that we're going to try and get it in i think we're probably going to try and get it in um, a heavy ball that seems like a nice ball to catch it in for sure uh hp remaining it will be on one hp so it'll have exactly one hp after the false swipe uh, pokemon's level we'll need to check its level so let's have a quick look at what level it is level 38 so we'll be able to just plug this in on this 
sacrifice here. Status condition, no status condition. We've got eight badges. Catching power bonus, we don't have anything on um, and we didn't start with a back strike. So we'll put one down as caught in our Pokedex and it gives us the odds of the chances of us catching this. We've got about a 56% chance to catch it. So a success rate, we're gonna have to throw and reset about four times to get it. What the odds would be with a Dream Ball. The Dream Ball, probably about the same odds, I would imagine, maybe a little bit worse actually. So let's have a look, Dream Ball. Yeah, a little bit worse, but I feel like it matches a lot nicer. This tool is an essential for going out and hunting with the special Pokeballs. Just making sure that you've got a rough idea of how easy it's gonna be or not so easy to get a certain Pokemon. And we do it, there we go. We've got it in the Dream Ball. We didn't use a full swipe that time, but we got it in the Dream Ball straight away. And that is a very lucky catch for us. And there's the shiny Tinkertuff. So that is everything in today's video, friends. A massive shout out to Denvoros for coming up with this tool and designing it for the community community to use. I would definitely highly recommend taking it and adapting it when you are going out and catching shiny Pokemon specifically or other Pokemon as well if you want just to give you an idea of what things you can do like I've said in this guide to reduce the catch rates to give yourself the better chance of getting these Pokemon in specific balls so you're not resetting your game over and over and over again when sometimes you can just use a status condition or a back strike even to start the encounter and that's going to significantly increase your odds especially if you are combining in that with maybe the catching power as well from a sandwich that you've set up for that specific type. The link to this tool will be down in the description below. If you found this video useful, please drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So thank you for tuning in friends, take care of yourselves and bye bye.